いや世界は常に変化する15番目だ How's it going, everybody? It's Eon here, and welcome to day 24 of the Final Fantasy 15 countdown retrospective. Before you proceed, I highly recommend you check out day 25, in which I discussed new information about Final Fantasy that came from French event Japan Expo 2013. In this video, I'll be sharing all the information that we got up until Tokyo Game Show 2013. There is a lot to talk about, so without further ado, let's dive right into it. Following the article that French website Final Fantasy World released on July 24th, 2013, detailing their interview with director Tetsuya Nomura during Japan Expo 2013, the next major development for Final Fantasy XV arrived on August 6th, 2013. On this date, a number of websites discovered an interesting trademark filed by Square Enix securing the rights to something called a World of the Versus Epic. If that sounds familiar to you, that's because this was one of the taglines in the Final Fantasy XV reveal trailer from E3 2013. The major assumption that came from all this is that Square Enix might be moving ahead with plans to create Final Fantasy XV sequels, which is an idea that the company has been playing around with. Now, Final Fantasy XV isn't even out yet, so it's hard to say if this World of the Versus Epic will end up amounting to much after the game's release, beyond the DLCs that have already been announced. But considering how large of an investment the decade old title has been for the company, I wouldn't be surprised if they do announce some kind of sequel at some point down the line to, I guess, milk the 15 series a little bit. Moving on, later that month, on August 30th, 2013, Square Enix announced all the titles that they would be exhibiting for Tokyo Game Show 2013, which was set to take place from September 20th to September 23rd, and people were pleased to learn that among those titles was none other than Final Fantasy XV. But to our dismay, it turned out that while Final Fantasy XV did make an appearance at the event, Nothing new was really shown. In fact, just a little before TGS 2013, on September 17th, Nomura publicly confirmed that there would be no new information about the title at the event, as reported by Japanese website Final Fantasy Reunion from a PlayStation community website newsletter. Nomura did say, however, that he would appear in Sony's Conversations with Creators series of interviews, where he would talk about the game and share some information. And that's exactly what he did. After Square Enix presented a slightly re edited version of the same trailer shown at E3 2013, two days later, on September 20th, as promised, Nomura participated in a Conversations with Creators interview, the transcript of which was released by Famitsu later that day. The information was all in Japanese, but fortunately, website Siliconera provided a full translation. Here's what Nomura had to share. He began by talking about what the new hardware allowed as far as 3D graphics and cutscenes are concerned. Final Fantasy XV will be the first of the Final Fantasy main numbered series that is based on an action RPG. Since we started using 3D graphics for Final Fantasy, we've often prepared pre rendered movies for the cutscenes. However, since the hardware has changed this time, we have been able to feasibly render such cutscenes for real time gameplay. For this reason, you'll have full control of your character even during highly dynamic scenes. For example, in the video we showed during E3, a Leviathan was going berserk in the town. As water spouts were seen gushing from underwater, while the protagonist was jumping around and fighting. Up until now, such scenes were always part of Visual Works pre rendered movies. This time, you'll actually get to play it in real time. The topic then shifted to the game's battle system. The concept of Final Fantasy XV's battle system is to make it as seamless as possible and being able to fight while switching characters according to various situations. Each character has their own strengths that can be used in a cooperative fashion. And even such scenes that depict the moments of cooperation and were pre rendered up until now will be shown in real time. Nomura then talked a bit about the scene showing Prompto helping Noctis out in the midst of combat. That scene was also rendered in real time. The battles put a lot of emphasis on the feeling of speed. Since it will be based on action, we're doing as much as we can to lessen the moments players don't have control. As enemies and allies run around, the pace of battles become faster, and fighting amidst the sense of reality is what I believe sets it apart from Final Fantasy titles up until now. 
Nomura was then asked, while Final Fantasy XV will be quite different from any other traditional game of its series, what is it that makes it more like an actual Final Fantasy? He responded with, Final Fantasy battles are about having numbers of HP and such be displayed on the screen, which appears while hitting enemies or being hit by them. Up until now, looking at the displayed numerical values while thinking of your next actions was the flow of Final Fantasy battles, which will be inherited in Final Fantasy XV. If we didn't keep that, I don't think it would feel like Final Fantasy. Thinking about numbers, along with action techniques, I don't think there are any other games that feature such action type battle that combines the two. The interview then discussed Final Fantasy XV's story and world, about which Nomura had this to say. While the story of Final Fantasy XV is based on the world setting of the Fabla Nova Crystallis mythos, similar to Final Fantasy XV and Final Fantasy Type-0, unlike the two aforementioned titles, it will take place in an original world. He then added that the story will be quite simple. The enemy nation steals a crystal and the protagonists will be retrieving it. Within that, there will be various interactions with other people, which will make it into a Final Fantasy-styled story. Next up, Nomura talked about how cities in Final Fantasy XV seem to have a European style to them. Final Fantasy XV's theme is a fantasy based on reality, so we have used parts of the real world for the picture as a concept. Having the expansion of a fantasy amidst that is a big part of Final Fantasy XV, in order to realize such power of expression. I believed that it could only be done through something close to the hardware of the PlayStation 4. On the topic of PS4, Nomura was then asked what stood out to him about developing Final Fantasy XV for the new console, to which he replied, From a developer's point of view, the most important part of a hardware is the memory. The larger the memory is, the more you can push the limits. When asked to further elaborate on pushing the limits, he said, The more data you can store in memory, the less loading time there will be, along with the possibility of expanding a game on a much larger scale. As mentioned earlier, in order to depict many cutscenes in real time, it is dependent on the size of memory. Again, the number of character motions in battle, and the variety of weapons you can shift through will be high. In terms of having such features take up memory space, I believe that Final Fantasy XV is a perfect fit with the PlayStation 4. Now, despite the new possibilities that next-gen consoles allowed, Nomura also talked about how this made development tougher, there was a behemoth that appeared in the E3 trailer. Well, we actually talked among staff members regarding that behemoth's facial expression. Up until now, we could get away with just having facial expressions for characters alone, but we have entered an era where we even have to work on the monster's facials. This means that we'll have to put in much more detail than ever from now on. Nomura was then asked if we can expect any crossplay functionalities for the game with devices such as the PlayStation Vita or smartphones. His response was, I really like to think about something using mobile devices. The PlayStation 4's ability to connect with external devices really fits today's era, and it coincides with what we're trying to do. I believe that nowadays, it is difficult to have someone sit in front of their home consoles for long periods of time, so I believe that we need to have something that allows them to enjoy the world of Final Fantasy XV while they go out as well. The interview finally concluded with a final message from Tetsuya Nomura to fans. Many years have gone by since we first introduced the name of Versus 13, and because of that I am aware of the very high expectations you all have for the game. In order to meet those expectations, we, the staff, are all doing our best. Please look forward to it. And that about concludes all of the information about Final Fantasy XV that yielded from Tokyo Game Show 2013. So with that, I would like to conclude today's episode of the Final Fantasy XV Countdown Retrospective. Thank you for tuning in! Let us know in the comments below what you think about the information that Tetsuya Nomura shared about the title back then. And to be further updated on all things Final Fantasy, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah! I'll see you guys next time! Yong out!